Today, we will tackle another hiccup from our friends at Microsoft. It's like a never-ending saga. So, let's dive into Microsoft's recent, shall we say, zealous campaign to get everyone aboard the Windows 11 Express. Spoiler alert, it's not exactly a smooth ride. Just last month, Microsoft announced they're stepping up their game, inviting people to transition to Windows 11. And boy, have they been relentless with those reminders since January 2024. But why all this commotion, you wonder? Well, our trusty Windows 10 is set to bid farewell on October 14th, 2025. It's like your favorite TV show getting axed you knew it was inevitable, but it still hurts when it happens. Now, here's where the plot thickens. While some folks succumbed to the constant notifications and took the leap into Windows 11 and probably regretted it, others are increasingly irritated by the constant reminders. And then, there are those unfortunate souls whose systems don't meet the upgrade requirements. Talk about a downer, right? For instance, let's say you got this setup with an i5, 16 GB of RAM, and a good graphics card, and yet, you are not eligible for the Windows 11 upgrade. Can you believe that? But don't fret, there's a workaround. I have to adjust a tiny setting in the BIOS. But honestly, I'm not really up for it at the moment. So yeah, it's a minor inconvenience, but an inconvenience nonetheless. But hey, who needs Windows 11 anyway? I've got Linux and maybe Windows for a few games here and there. Perhaps it's a case of keeping your enemies closer, huh? But in all seriousness, I'd love to see more people making the switch to Linux. It's a fantastic alternative that's worth considering. It's not just about escaping the constant bombardment of upgrade notifications or the disappointment of not meeting the upgrade requirements. It's about embracing a platform that offers flexibility, control, and a sense of community. Linux isn't just an operating system. It symbolizes freedom in the computing world. It's about having the choice to decide what your computer does rather than being told by a corporation. It's about exploring a world where you're not restricted by licensing agreements or locked into a specific software ecosystem. So, if you're tired of the Windows drama, why not give Linux a shot? You might be surprised at how much you enjoy the change. And who knows, you might find yourself wondering why you didn't make the switch sooner. So. Are you ready to embark on a new computing adventure? Let's explore the world of Linux together. Here is a brief overview of the Linux distributions I would start looking at, ranking them from easy to more complex. 1. Debian Debian is known for its robustness and reliability. It's a great choice for beginners due to its stable nature and extensive documentation. Debian's package management system, APT Advanced Package Tool, is highly regarded and makes software installation straightforward. However, Debian's emphasis on stability means its software repository might not always have the latest applications. 2. Fedora Fedora is a cutting-edge distribution that incorporates new technologies and software early on. It's user-friendly and offers a great platform for users who want to stay on top of the latest developments in the Linux world. Fedora also has strong community support and extensive documentation, making it a good choice for beginners. However, due to its leading edge nature, you may encounter occasional bugs. 3. Arch Linux Arch Linux is a lightweight, flexible, and simple distribution that provides a minimal base system, allowing users to build and customize their system exactly how they want. This can be a great learning experience, but it also means that setting up an Arch Linux system can be more challenging for beginners. Arch uses a rolling release model, so you get the latest software updates as soon as they're released. Remember, the best distribution for you depends on your personal needs and how comfortable you are with Linux. If you're starting out, you might find Debian or Fedora easier to use. If you're up for a challenge and want to learn more about how Linux works, you might enjoy Arch Linux. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and until next time.